Most of the time I begin my work by brainstorming and writing, actually, before I even draw, just to have my mind get a grasp of what exactly I want to achieve with it. I am Tara McPherson, and we are in my uh, studio in Brooklyn, New York. I think so far, like, the, the term pop surrealist is kind of, that makes sense to me if, if I was asked to describe my art. Yeah, I've done a lot of commercial work as well, but I think the gallery world is something that I want to be involved with and you have artists that are kind of bridging that gap. Science and chemistry has always really fascinated me, so I took this astronomy class and then I decided to change my major to astrophysics. I was a vice president of the astronomy club, total nerd, and uh, but it was fun, you know, and I, I loved it. Now I'm, I'm at a point where I can kind of combine my interests in astronomy into my artwork. So there's a lot of uh, spacey type of uh, themes to a lot of my pieces. There is a kind of retro element to it, but yeah, that kind of futuristic retro feel. Also concepts too. There's, there's this thing called, uh, that I was found fascinating. It's called a gravitational lens and it's a, uh, where like a really bright object is behind a really massive object and light is physically bent around, around um, say if it's a black hole or something like that. And you see uh, multiple images. And actually this, this painting right here, there's uh, five panels of it, but uh, this one is that, it's about um, breaking down that moment in time to, you know, it's almost a physical impossibility, but yet in, in this instance, like with the gravitational lens, you see multiple images of the same, the same star. So with this painting, so there's no space elements about it at all, but the concept behind the painting is, is based on that, um, that theory, Einstein's theory. I'd always wanted to leave LA. I had this love-hate relationship with, with that city. It's like I didn't really have an opportunity to leave LA until after I graduated school. So I moved to Portland for about a year and a half. That was like my baby step to like leave LA. Um, my sister and my uh, poster publisher were up there. So, you know, two really great reasons. And then also Dark Horse Comics is up there. They've published my art book and um, some toys and we're doing a coloring book and all these really neat things. Then the next step was New York. It just kind of dawned on me then. I was like, that would be fantastic. That's where I should be. My gallerist, uh, Jonathan Levine Gallery, was just moving his gallery from Philly to New York right when I moved here. I had shown in a couple group shows with him. Kid Robot is here, which I do toys with. I just knew there'd be a really good art community here that I really kind of needed. And it's, it's been great, I love it here. I didn't take any graphic design classes in college. I was all illustration. So I think my sensibilities when incorporating type, I come at it from a different direction than a typical graphic designer would. I'll begin the posters with a drawing and I'll scan in the drawing and then I'll do the separations in Photoshop. So each color is on its own layer. And then most of the time I get my type from like old books and I'll scan the you know, it'll be like a whole entire alphabet on a page and I'll find, I'll look through the books and I'll find one that I really like and I'll scan that in and then I can really play around with it. You know, I have to move each letter on its own so it's time consuming but I feel like I can um, come to a different solution by doing it that way. I mean, it's subtle but it's those little subtleties that kind of make or break things at that point. It's funny, I actually just got, um, a, a MySpace comment the other day that it was really great. This, this guy said, uh, every time I see turquoise, I think of Tara McPherson. I'm just drawn to certain colors. I try to uh, look at the past few posters or paintings I've done and try to do something different. I don't want everything to be all the same. So 
I do consciously try to vary it, but I am just drawn to certain colors. I want it to be a family, but I also want them to be, you know, different in their own way as well. There's so many people that are aware of, of what you're doing. When you get to a certain point in your career, you know, people follow you and what you do. Yeah, there's yeah, people that I don't know that are analyzing my my decisions. Which is strange, you know. Becoming an artist, like you never I didn't become an artist to become famous <laughs> at all. You know, I wanted to paint. It's a completely odd byproduct of, of being an artist.